Welcome to the Swing Trading Recycles channel. We're going to do our update on natural gas today. It's April 2nd, 2023. So we closed out the March candle on Friday. That's important. We're going to talk about that today. And we haven't done many updates on natural gas in the last few days because not much has happened. It's continued to go lower as expected into that daily cycle low. And as always, take a look at that pinned comment. If you're not following on Twitter, there's a link there and also a ton of good background information on cycles, trend analysis, price action signals, especially swing highs and swing lows. And so specifically that swing high on day seven, again, as I said, once that once that happened, right, that very high odds that we're, we, a, a, a downtrend has started and that's what exactly what we saw. Now, very interestingly and importantly, Friday was a bullish outside candle. So this is your daily chart. And so again, in that pinned comment, you'll see um, background on how to think about cycles. There's a whole video, a couple videos actually. And so this was a very bearish cycle, rallied for five days, declined for 47. This is a setting up for a bearish, this is a bearish cycle as well, because it only rallied for seven days. It was a pretty massive rally in terms of price, bigger than this one, but certainly, and, and obviously th that's the case because it's coming from a lower base. So by percentage terms, it's going to be huge. But then it just declined, and this is day 24, and that, so that is, what, 17 days, right? So it declined for 17 days after rallying for seven days. That's a bearish cycle. That's left translated. It spends more time going down than going up. But that, what, what day is that? So that's, a, your, that's Tuesday. So Tuesday you made a low. And then Wednesday, you you created a swing low. So and so far we've really just kind of consolidated. You know, this was Wednesday candle. This was your Thursday candle, which went red and made it seem like oh this structure is about to fail. Like just to be clear, like in real time as you're looking at this, it's like especially since day 24 is actually pretty early for a daily cycle low. Obviously, so this one was a 52 day cycle. That's really long. But typically, it's more like 30 days. That doesn't mean it has to be 30 days. It certainly could be 24. I mean, interestingly, this was a low on exactly day 24. It, 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 you're not looking for like to time the exact bottom based on cycles at all. That's not the right way to use cycles. It's more to give you uh, just a, a, a broad range. And so we know that this certainly could be our daily cycle low, but it's also a little bit early. That said, this Friday candle, bullish outside, that gives you something to trade against. It's very clear. We just have to hold this level here. If we can just add, a, we just kind of add a little line here. And we'll look at UNG and Boyle at equivalent levels. But there's a little bit of risk-reward trade here that might make sense. So so that's that's your daily chart. And so if we think about the scenarios, it's possible that this is day three of a new daily cycle. And we also closed above the 10-day moving average. So Monday, or I should say how it opens tonight, Sunday, is going to be really interesting. And more importantly is how it closes. The weekly closed nicely and in terms, was, was, was uh, bullish in the sense that it certainly, this is, a, this is a hammer candle, which sets you up, right? Like the probable, the probable, the, the probable next move is some kind of like bullish follow through. Or what I should say is it makes it easier to have bullish follow through because you close right here. So the next candle, unless you have some kind of crazy thing happen overnight, is already like sort of primed to go higher almost, if that if that makes sense. And so in terms of that weekly cycle, this was week 16 where we made a, we, 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 had, we made a low and then on the following week, we had a nice weekly swing low, the same way we had that we have a daily swing low in place. But then look at this. It looks like it was on the verge of failing, but it didn't quite get there. And we'll talk about the monthly chart because we saw that pattern, that bearish outside monthly pattern. Remember that that doesn't have to complete in just one month, right? That it can kind of quote unquote complete the job in the following month. So we're gonna have, we're gonna watch for that, right? But this is your bullish case. So this is this is making it easier for you to have some kind of bullish reversal, and this also serves as like you know. I mean, not much higher, but a higher low, right? And again, so this, so that would be the case if that was our daily cycle low. It means we're going to see more of a rally on the weekly. That's an important. That's an. That's a. That's a good way to to, to think about it. And so, if we look at that monthly chart, so the candle did close, but of course, it's not like price. It's it's not as if price is uh, like 
it it's if it's gonna if it's gonna make that low, it's gonna make that low the following month, right? You'll see something like this. Right. And that these two candles together will be a bearish outside candle, just kind of a combined candle, if you will. Um, so that that is like if we look at a two month candle, so you can see the two month period is actually just we, we we're going to close that two month period this month. And so the, in April, I should say the open for that was three dollars and two cents. So if we're going to see a rally that becomes a target and you know down here at 220 that's 80 cents of upside that's a nice little move especially the way the futures are are juiced so that's a little inside way that's a little interesting way of, of looking at it so that's your bullish case obviously again the bearish case is that you get continuation it all hinges on that daily cycle i hope you're starting to see that why multiple time frame analysis is so important if that was a daily cycle low on day 24 it increases the odds that we get bullish uh, we get bullish continuation like basically it tells you what is likely to happen on the higher time frame charts right like on this weekly you're likely like to be cl very clear this is likely to become a weekly swing low so you'd have this weekly swing low and then this weekly swing low with not a surprise this is your three dollar level which is that high on the two month candle it's all the same right it's all this because it's all the same price action it's just you're just looking at it on different time frames so that sets you up for a nice um risk reward trade with a very clear um with a very clear um target if you will and and let's think about the quarterly candle because that also closed right so this is your quarterly candle yeesh so the next quarterly candle is going to open what well, literally on sunday like tonight and it'll be it'll open at the lower end of the range. So we'll be watching for that. I mean, so really the best case scenario for the next three months is really just being, or I should say, yeah, most likely the best case scenario is being inside this range. The high is four dollars and thirty nine cents essentially. So that gives you a nice little mile marker to the top. That's literally a hundred percent upside on uh, the futures itself. That's a good. The, the, it's good sort of uh, context to have and allows you to really kind of define your risk. So that is natural gas itself. Let's turn over to UNG and 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 so again, if this just a, just a scenario plan, if this is your daily cycle uh, low, we would ex we would like bullish case. Hopefully, is a rally that's more than seven days, right? So, like. And you probably get a, let's just assume that the next cycle it is closer to 30 days, the way these usually are. That means you expect your low around um, May 10th, something like that. So call it early May. And we also know that we talk about this a lot. April is the most bullish month for natural gas. And we just started April. It all starts to line up, right? Like, oh, okay, perhaps this is our daily cycle low. This bullish outside candle on the daily is telling us that. And we could make a move at least to this $3 kind of area, which is, I mean, what is that on percentage terms? Let's see. I will say, though, very important, the, so that's 36%. The broader market itself, and, I, and I'll, I'll definitely take a, look at, uh, um, take a look at the channel. Everything is organized by playlist. I'll be releasing other videos today. Uh, looking at the monthly candle, the weekly candle, uh, excuse me, the, the quarterly candle, etc. Bullish action all over the place, precious metals um, and the broader market. And people are incredibly bearish. So that's a that's a pretty good combination, which is to say natural gas is not the best risk reward. Like, like of the totality of trades available, natural gas is certainly not it. Like that's not the one I would be going after personally. And so... This is your daily chart for UNG. Just kind of thinking about the same levels. Think about what you need to. Well, let's actually keep that on because that's your swing high. So this is your equivalent level for natural gas. Of course, it doesn't trade overnight. So that that high on day seven was followed by a gap down on Monday. And then we just kind of kept tumbling lower. And you can see the count is different for natural gas for UNG. Natural gas has been able to. Um, consolidate for a couple of days so it's potentially on day three and this is 
only it only made a swing low on, as of Friday. And that might actually be your tell that maybe it's going to roll over. But here's the important thing. If natural gas isn't didn't make a daily cycle low, it's on day 27 now. So it's late in the daily cycle. Certainly not the time to short and the time that you'd be th- looking for it's we're getting closer to a daily cycle low than than not. And so and again, with April being the most bullish seasonally, that puts the risk reward in your favor. So that's that that's uh that's that's uh, always important to observe when you know that's the thing. These things are even you even though UNG isn't as leveraged as Boyle, it still massively outperforms natural gas to the downside. So you can see UNG did make that bearish outside candle, right? It closed below it too. Important. It didn't even so so that's just a level to think about getting back to seven dollars and fourteen cents. That's the low from February. So we closed below that. So we closed the bearish outside candle. But um, again, that is all the more reason why, you know, some kind of uh, bullish reversal um, could be really furious, right? Like people having to kind of cover shorts, for instance. And this is how we ended on the weekly. So important level on the weekly. We need to get back above $7.19 to give ourselves a weekly swing low. So if natural gas is going to make a weekly swing low, you assume UNG will get there, right? So that that's your level, right? That's what you want to watch for. That's the bullish case. Obviously, the bearish case is going below 658. That just continues this downtrend on the weekly chart. Um, And if we go to Boyle to look at the same levels, so same deal with Boyle. Made its it it got the swing low just on Friday. Important, and I know um, th- this candle is actually very simple, and um, obviously not super bullish either. Let let's zoom into the lower time frames because you can see that means there was a pullback on a lower time frame. So let's look at the hourly, right? So it's like curling over. Um, that's yeah, that that's boil, boil for you. And if we look at the weekly chart, we're gonna need to close. We're gonna need to get above. Three dollars and ninety-one cents. Oh wow, is that right? Yikes. Yeah, because that—that's what we need to get a weekly swing low. And so, right, that's what happens. This thing gets pummeled to the downside, and so that means the rallies to the upside have to be more furious to, just to kind of catch up, to kind of keep up, if that makes sense. So, this thing closed at three sixty-one, and it needs to rally thirty cents. Um, just to, to, to make a weekly swing low again like that, do something like this. And of course, the bear case is making that low below $3.26. So that's the, that's the uh, and actually, let's look at the two-week chart because did that close? That is going to close, um, that's going to close on Friday. And so the high on that is that $3.91 level. So the same, same and I'm sure it's the same deal with, with uh, UNG. So again, I mean, look at this thing. My God, at some point, it's going to get a green candle. That's probably what's coming up, right? This candle may be going from red to green, and then another green candle for the, for, and that gets you your bullish April um, to, to complete the pattern. So that is the lay of the land for natural gas. Again, definitely take a look at the other videos for other asset classes. The broader market, precious metals, they are rallying here. Um, it, and it, the quarterly candle just closed, giving us a really powerful signal. Um, but that's the wrap. That, that's the wrap on natural gas. Thanks for watching.